Hi there, this is Noah with the DRS Training Department. This is going to be a video tutorial on recapturing incomplete orders. So when a customer goes to your website and begins to place an order, puts in contact information, but does not complete the order, the DRS system will automatically send them an email to follow up and try to capture that order, as well as emailing you at the company email address to let you know what's going on. And everything is in place for this, we just need to make a few tweaks. So let's go ahead and take a look at all that under Admin, Documents, Automatic Messages. Then let's click into Incomplete Order Recapture. So as we can see here, this message lets your customer know that you noticed that they were on there and never finished their order, and it offers a small discount to try to sweeten the deal. So editing this document is the same as editing any other document in the system. Feel free to change the coupon code, and or entirely remove the language around coupons if you don't want to offer a coupon in this circumstance. So once the subject line and body of the email are set to your liking, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page to Days Until Send, and enter in a zero. Once we submit our edits here, the zero being in that days until send field is what activates this feature. And also let's double check that filter is set to incomplete. Now now that all of our edits are made, let's go ahead and save our changes, but rather than submit, which will take us back to the menu view, we're just going to click on save. So that leaves us in here, which is important because we need to go ahead and send a test message. So let's open up the CRM in a different browser tab. And any test orders that you've placed in the past that weren't real orders, think of the names on those orders, and go ahead and put one of those names in your search field here. This will ensure that we can test this message, but we're not going to spam any of our actual real customers with unnecessary emails. So I'm going to go ahead and click into this top one. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to get one of these order numbers here. Then I'm going to click back into the other browser tab. I'm going to enter that order number in here, along with the email address associated with the order. And I'm going to go ahead and send a test message. So then we can click into my email inbox and see that I've received the email. And everything looks good. I'm going to click on the link just to make sure that that's working properly. And it looks like it is. I remember that was a canceled order. So that's all looking good. Now this message does have a coupon code in there, so I better go ahead and make sure to create that coupon so that they can actually use that code upon checkout. So let's go to Admin Order Config Coupons. I'm going to go ahead and add new. And the name you enter in here will display on the payment screen for the customer. As it said in the email, I'm going to make this a $10 discount, and we're good to go. Now as an additional check, we should go ahead and open up the live website in a separate browser tab. And this part is important. We need to go to your actual live website at your actual domain name, rather than clicking the logo on the upper left hand corner here to open up the front end that way. So for example, if your website is redboxplustimbuktu.com, you have to actually type in redboxplustimbuktu.com in a separate browser tab, again, rather than clicking on the logo in the upper left-hand corner to open up a copy of your live website. So once you've gotten your site open, go ahead and start to place an order in the typical way, and make sure to get far enough along in the ordering process to enter in and submit your contact information. So then once you've entered in and submitted your contact information, the system will go ahead and send you that alert after 20 minutes. And again, you're just going through this process to test your settings in real time. Now we're almost ready to wrap this tutorial, but before we do, there are two things we should take a look at. And we'll find them both under Admin, Order Config, Miscellaneous Order Settings. So near the top of the screen here, we've got Send Incomplete Order Alert 2. And that's the setting that tells the system which email address it should send a copy of this email to, to let you know that you've got an incomplete order alert that's gone out to your customer. As you can see here, we've got the company email merge field in there right now, which is the most typical use of this setting. But of course you can put whatever email address you want in there. Then let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen to minutes to send incomplete order alert. As we can see here, by default it's going to send that incomplete order alert to you and your customer after 20 minutes of inactivity, but you can change the number of minutes by entering in a different number in that field. We do recommend that you go with at least 5 minutes, and the reason for that is that it could get really annoying if, for example, you put in 1 minute in there, because that would mean that as soon as the person submitted their contact information, they literally have 1 minute or less to finish checking out before they're going to receive an email. So they could literally be in the process of entering in their credit card number, and then receive an email. Which would not only be annoying and maybe even confusing for them, but if you left the verbiage around a coupon code in the email, and if the person was already in the process of checking out without a coupon, well you're just losing that money. Now all that said, you can put whatever number you want in here, but as I said, we do recommend that you go with 5 minutes or longer. Now if you do make any edits to either of those two settings, please make sure to save your changes. So that about does it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. As always, anytime you're working in the system and you have questions, the knowledge base is always your friend. And you can also access the knowledge base by clicking here on the little floating help icon. 
And of course, the tech support department is always happy to help as well. And you can reach them at 505-435-9731, extension 102, or support at eventrentalsystems.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.